cloudy and drizzling today so the good thing is we have a cover arena so let's walk at the horse that we're gonna long line it's right here his name is Ranzel hey buddy so we're gonna walk him over to the cross tide we're getting ready so I'll show you guys a little bit more the tips how I set up for the long lining. And so for long lining, I always like to put the saddle on first. And the reason why I want to put the saddle on first, so it doesn't slip when you only put the third signal on, then the third signal might slide to the left or slide to the right while you do the long lining. So with the saddle, it helps to prevent to do that because you can tie up more and it has a better stability on the back. So this is the third signal we're gonna put on. You always wanna make sure you have big eyes because the long line has to go through here. And the more bigger rings you have, the better because then you can move them all the way down or up. You can change all the position. So as you guys can see, up. So now we have the long line ready. So what I always do, as you can see, you have two eyes, one on top here, and then one on this side. So, you wanna stick it right through here, and for right now, we're gonna put it on the bed until we get to the arena. And then you do exactly the same to the other side. So another important thing, make sure you have gloves on because otherwise you might can burn your hands. So come on buddy, let's go. So make sure you grab a launch whip. Yeah. And then, yeah. So the next important thing so make sure you wrap those rings around as well so it doesn't drop down. And then what you want to do is with those long lines, go through the rings of the bit and then it all depends of the horse, so the frame. So if you have a horse, the frame comes all the way up, like high, it's always high up in the frame then you want to put it down, like right here. Or sometimes you can put it between the legs. But in this case, this horse doesn't do that. So he's actually pretty good. So I'm going to just put it right here in the middle, right there, as you guys can see. We can put it a little bit higher. If horses are really low in the frame, you can put it up all the way down here, all the way up, as you guys can see, right? And but in this case, this horse, I'm going to put it right here in the middle. And then you do exactly the same way the other side as well. So now, when we're all set up, just grab the reins. When you hold the long line, make sure you never wrap the long line around your hands. Because that's very dangerous. If you cannot hold it, and when you open your hands, the long line will drop so and the best way the best place to long line it's a round pin or a smaller paddock with the fence around that's the safest way to do it another thing is important don't be too close because if the horse kicks make sure the horse doesn't kick you so you also have to make sure the distance behind behind the horse and yourself has to be at least 12 to 18 feet. Like in meters, I think like six meters. Come on, relax. Okay. So the first thing I want to start out is just follow the rail in the walk, as you guys can see. Okay. And then sometimes you want to have the fall, the horse wants to fall to the left. So then you have to make sure you pull on the right rein here. Yeah, good boy. Okay, so the goal is, 
and it pulls me a little bit forward on both reins. That's the goal. Like right now I have that feeling. So that's a good feeling. Good boy. So now we're gonna go to the halt. You just give it a little half halt, say ho. Good boy. And then back to the walk. Come. Look. Oh. He has really good reaction. That's good. There we go. So as you guys can see now, he's more settled in now, more relaxed. So, oh boy, now he wants to go forward. Good. Now we're going to switch the direction, so we're going to pull on the left one. There you go. See? And it turns. And now we're going to pull on the right to turn to the right. It's like driving a bicycle. Okay. And still, it's very important that he pulls me on both reins a little bit forward, like comfortable. Not too hard, just nice and comfortable. See, now I'm walking back right next to him, like 45 degrees behind the horse. There we go. Good. Now I go to the halt. So when I go to the halt, I pull on the left rein. Good. Left. Oh. Oh. So now I'm going to pull to the left. Again. See, I have to overdo it a little bit so you guys can see. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Now we can go back to the right. So that way you can get them a little straighter. So you pull a little bit left and then back a little bit right. A little bit left and then back to the right. There we go. So now, so now you get start to get a little bit straighter. Good boy. Now here, we, now we're talking. Good boy. If you want to slow down, you can pull the same thing on the left rein. Say ho. You can go to the halt if he doesn't respond. Yeah, good boy. There we go, see? And then back to the trot. Come. Good. There we go. Oh. But see, this one, he always wants to fall to the inside. So you have to make sure you have a the right rein. Oh, there we go. Now, okay. Oh, and plus, as you guys can see, those two long lines hanging to the left side of the horse. Yeah, so it helps also not fall to the inside. There we go. And when the horses start to relax their more confidence, then you can ask a little bit more energy. And the more energy you can use a whip or your click with your voice. Come, Baba. Good. Now you're gonna change direction again. Oh. He has to wait. There we go. See? If the horse starts running, bring him every time back to the walk or to the halt. Good boy. There we go. Come and back to the trot. Good. Oh. There we go. Good job. Oh. Oh, good. And back to the trot. Come, good. So now, when you want to collect, it's the same thing, but you don't do it. Yeah, see, now he comes back easy. You give a little habit on the outside, slow the trot, and then back forwards. Good. There we talk. Beautiful. Good. Nice. And then collect them back. You pull on the right rein on the outside. Oh. oh. Good. 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 And now back forwards. Come. Good. And canter. Good. 
See, the more you say stuff like a canter and transitions, the easier it's gonna get. There we go. Good. Good boy. And halt. Oh. Good. So make sure you drop the whip before you go back to the horse. And then you go slowly. Make sure you don't wrap your reins not around your arms or your hands. If the horse takes off, at least you can drop it if you cannot hold it. So now I'm just putting the long line on top of the saddle. And so this is it guys. So I hope you guys think it was interesting and you guys learned something. If you have any comments, just leave any comments below in the description. So we'll bring them back to the cross tide. Come on, buddy. Okay, guys, so this is it for today. Uh, if you have any comments, leave it in the comment section below the video. Um, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that juicy like button. And we are out here. Ciao.